by Unite. What's up everybody, Eric here from Tea and Tobacco. Today we're going to be looking at this offering from Cornell and Deal. So let's go. Today I'm looking at Bayou Night from Cornell and Deal. Uh, this does come in two ounce and eight ounce tins as well as in bulk. I uh, got this in bulk. Uh, just to let you know, this has been jarred for about two years now. So um, <clears throat> it has a little bit of age on it. Tin note, you're looking at a light smokiness with a bit of cow manure, a bit of a ketchup type of scent, and a little bit of vinegar in there as well. The appearance, the appearance is a ribbon cut ranging from almost black to a very light brown, pretty much equal across the spectrum on that. <clears throat> Uh, since I did get this in bulk, I can't uh, comment on how the tin moisture level was. Um, since it was in bulk, I adjusted the moisture level uh, as needed. And um, I couldn't tell you what I did because it was like two years ago. So. Uh, so while I'm lighting this up, don't forget to hit the uh, like and subscribe button. Also, the Discord we have open that uh, is down in the description. I'm in there pretty much all the time on text and in there quite often on, uh, on the voice chat as well, if you wanna come check that out with us. Starting off here, looking at medium body, mild to medium body. There is a bit of a harshness to it. It's got a bit of an edge, like if you retrohale it, it's got a bit of a burn. Flavor-wise, it's not super powerful in the flavor department. You're looking at a bit of a smoky coffee cocoa and uh, a bit of a grape, almost, the acidity is almost like an aloe drink, if you've ever had one of those before. It's the best I can describe it. So that's where we are here at the initial light. So I'll update you if there's any changes. Today I'm smoking my Eric Nording Freehand. Has kind of this drill bit rustication on it. Had it for a few years now. All right, so I'm halfway down the bowl here. Interesting flavors are developing. The uh, cocoa coffee note is still in there, but now there's some spices coming in. There's some cinnamon and clove. And also like if you're take a big mass of leaves in the fall and throw it on like a campfire and you smother the campfire and you get that smoke, off the leaves. It's really a flavor that I'm getting. Also, nicotine wise, it's definitely on the higher side, medium to strong, and um, not as strong as like a HH Bowl in Kentucky or anything, but uh, definitely something to know. I'm already feeling it. I'm only halfway down the bowl. So if you are a nicotine lightweight, definitely something to be aware of. Also, it is burning a little bit hot, so I'm gonna let it go out right here and um, just to cool down a little bit. So uh, that's where we stand at about the halfway mark. Hat of the day today, I am wearing my Dockers flat cap. It also has ear flaps for the winter, though I never use them, but it is a very nice cap and they're relatively cheap. So link is down in the description if you are interested in it. So I'm at Ashes now. So flavor wise for the end of this thing here, still stayed with the base notes of kind of the cocoa and coffee, but and all those spices, the cinnamon clove, the smoke from autumn leaves, I guess you could say. And then also there's some pepper buildup as well and some spicy heat on the back of the palate. So it's definitely something to look for. It's, you know, really kind of like a interesting spiced type of flavor. So something to be aware of. Uh, also nicotine wise, I am feeling it pretty bad. So I'm going to definitely put this at the higher end than the medium end. And um, also something to be aware of in case you are a nicotine lightweight like myself. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Cornell and Deals Bayou Night. Be sure to like and subscribe, comment, question, feedback down below. Also check out our Discord server. There's uh, text chat and voice chat, and I'm pretty much in there all the time. And um, I'll see you next time on Tea and Tobacco. See you guys.